Hi guys, if you ask me what Russian food I crave right now, I probably gonna say Russian style sauerkraut and boiled potatoes with dill. Sauerkraut is so popular in Russia, if you go to a market, they sell it in the big barrels and you can taste it, you can see which one you like. Today we are gonna do a sauerkraut in a jar. If you wanna see how I do it, stay with me. For this recipe you will need one head of cabbage, two large carrots, half a cup of barberry, which is optional, two tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of coarse salt, some filtered water, and of course a large jar. We can start by uh, slicing our cabbage, and I'm using a special tool for that, but you guys can use the knife. Just make sure you are um, slicing it all the way around and um, leaving this cabbage um, sort of looking like a spaghetti. I think it's just gonna look good and it's gonna taste good. And it's just prettier and that's the original way of how in Russia we cut cabbage. For the carrots, I'm gonna use a julienne slicer. Um, once again, we're gonna try to keep it all uniform and it's um, also gonna look much prettier after all the ingredients combined. Mix the cabbage with carrots and um, try not to squish it because we are using liquid. We do not need to create any juices in the cabbage. So just um, try mixing it as much as you can and add your barberry. This is optional once again, but I think it's going to add a nice um, taste to the cabbage and it's also going to look pretty and it's going to color it sort of pink. So we're going to put all the cabbage in a jar and um, if you think that all this cabbage is not going to fit there, you just watch it. I am using two and a half liter jar and you need to find a jar that has um, an opening uh, large enough for you to put your hand through because we're going to um, just squish that cabbage in the jar, make sure we can fit the whole head. Now we need to season our cabbage. Put three tablespoons of coarse salt right on top of the cabbage and put two tablespoons of sugar. We're going to pour cold filtered water right over that salt and sugar that we just put. And I'm using the chopstick to make sure that the water gets all the way to the bottom of the jar. And keep adding the water until you reach the very top of the jar. We need as much liquid as we can. And keep adding the water and working with your chopstick until all the cabbage is covered. We are going to place this jar um, on a plate or in the bowl, cover it lightly with the lid, and patience my friends, we're going to check on it tomorrow. Next day we're going to check on our cabbage, leaving this cabbage on the counter and using sugar and salt is going to start the fermentation process. And as you can see there are tiny little bubbles uh, that have been um, created in the cabbage so it means it's um, starting its process. On day three you're gonna see a lot of changes in our cabbage. There's gonna be some liquid on the bottom of the plate and as you can see there are a lot of tiny bubbles and if you taste your cabbage it's ready. So put it in the fridge overnight to stop the process and next day we can serve it. Serve your sauerkraut in a pretty plate and what I like to do, I like to top it um, with anise seeds. I think it adds a nice kick uh, to the sauerkraut and also use a little bit of unfiltered sunflower oil. I hope you liked my recipe, it's very easy and very delicious. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.